Russian artillerymen assigned to Vostok Group of Forces prepared to fire Rapira MT-12, a 1971 Soviet-era smoothbore 100mm anti-tank gun. This weapon system began to be deployed within the conflict zones in occupied Ukraine in 2023. Regarded as almost obsolete, Russian forces still operate this gun in several regular army units. Many have been drawn from long-term storage to support newly formed Russian formations fighting in Ukraine, such as the Vostok Group. These Russian soldiers are located very near a combat zone somewhere in South Donetsk in Russian-occupied Ukraine. They are loading a free UBM-10 armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabat round into the breech of the 6,000 pound towed gun. The Sabat round has a maximum range of 1.86 miles. It's thought the round is at its most effective under 1,100 yards, with armor penetration thought to be 8.8 .8 inches. The free UBM-10 round was designed to destroy first-generation Leopard, Abrams and Challenger tanks. So clearly this particular crew has a problem. They are exposed in an open field. The anti-tank gun is very unlikely to destroy main battle tanks unless they are very close. And the gun, well known for its excessive recoil, especially if not properly anchored to the ground, is now recoiling dangerously, forcing the soldiers to use a long lanyard to fire the gun. The soldiers will need to recite their aim at a target after every fire, all costing valuable time and probably reducing the rate of fire to one or two a minute rather than anticipated four to six. Here we see a Russian artillery crew assigned to Zabat group of forces conducting operations in Luhansk Oblast. They are adopting a different, less exposed tactic for the Rapira anti-tank gun. They have chosen an ambush position screened by trees. A single six-man crew are using two semi-concealed guns. The first gun, using direct fire, will aim at the first visible approaching enemy vehicle, in this case using a 100mm BK-16M high-explosive anti-tank fin-stabilised heat projectile. The BK-16 rounds have a maximum range of 1100 yards, but are most effective at very close ranges, ideally under 600 yards. The crew, after firing several rounds, will camouflage the first gun, relocating to the second gun position several yards away in an attempt to avoid counter-fire. The second gun, again, will use direct fire against any further encroaching vehicles. You will notice the gun is operating smoothly. Recoil is controlled by spades on each carriage, properly dug in, gripping into the firm earth. These Russian artillerymen assigned to Yug group of forces operating near Sponje in Luhansk Oblast are direct firing BK-16 heat rounds. The crew appear to be in place in an elevated position atop a hill. Interestingly, this ammo cache of mostly BK-16 heat rounds has amongst them what appears to be 100mm explosive fragmentation rounds with an indirect range of 9,000 yards. These are primarily used to target personnel, structures and lightly armoured vehicles. The artillery crew have found a lot of ammunition, suggesting they feel relatively safe from counter fire and have maybe dug a series of foxholes and trenches for protection. Nonetheless, no matter their tactics, this heavy, awkward to move and operate Rapira anti-tank gun, designed to be a defensive weapon, is outranged by most Ukrainian forces' weapons systems. The introduction of modern, man-portable anti-tank systems such as the FGM-148 Javelin with an effective firing range of up to 2.95 miles and developments in larger payload carrying anti-tank attack drones has hastened the effectiveness and obsolescence of the Rapira MT-12. The only likely conclusion that can be drawn for this deployed obsolete gun to Ukraine as an offensive weapon is a dire shortage of Russian artillery systems. Russian forces, as of 1st of January 2024, are thought to have lost 8,500 artillery and guided rocket systems since the invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Thanks for watching.